Hainsbury. A place plagued by all things supernatural, but I think that's established at this point. What's more important to note is that sometimes, the strangest and eeriest adventures can happen under your own roof, when you least expect it. Huh. Hmm. It's morning. Okay. And what you're saying is you didn't make breakfast for everyone? I don't know what about a dozen pancakes, seven eggs, and half a pound of bacon made you think it wasn't just for me. Probably the quantity of food. Huh? Holy... Orville! Uh... <clears throat> I mean... Morning, Orville. You, uh, looking for breakfast? Because I have a feeling we might have run out. Think what you want. I know for a fact I left at least a grapefruit in there. I think. No thanks. I'm going to get some coffee. I, uh, hope you weren't planning on having milk with that? Black coffee. Oh, that's okay then. Nice. My point is, Pryor, you could have told me you were seeing somebody. I don't see why it's any of your business. Uh, it's my business when the somebody you're seeing is the same woman I hired to look into my missing person case. Now I'm not going to be able to talk to her without thinking about you and her hooking up. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Shit. N n nothing. Look, you should date whoever you want. You deserve to be happy, but- Oh, hey, Orville. Really, Pryor? I'm doing my best to explain myself here, and you're trying to mess with me. Hi, guys. Mother of- how do you always do that? Do you have some kind of weird quota where you have to give somebody a heart attack once a day or something? Actually, this is the second time this has happened today. Yeah, no kidding. So, Orville, it doesn't look like we have any case calls this morning. We were going to get some extra combat practice in. And now more than ever, I feel the need to stab something. Or someone. <laughs> uh, sounds like it's gonna be a good time. Y yay! Orville, uh, buddy, any chance you'd want in? Or at least wouldn't mind being a witness in the case of an unfortunate accident? No thanks. Well, you know where to find us. We don't want you to miss out on the action. Don't worry. I have my own action planned. It'll be very intense. Hello? Empty library. Cool. Hey, Orville! How's it going, friend? You reading? Anything good? Yes. Neat! Well, anywho, I was about to go on a hardware store run, if you like coming with. Sorry, I'm busy. Well, you can read any time. There are only so many opportunities to take a shopping trip with a friend. Okay, how about this? You can finish reading, then we can go to the store. What do you say? Okay. Yes! I can wait, no problem. Are you done yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Okay, but now. Frank, this could take a while. <sighs> Fine. Why do you spend all your time alone in here anyway? You hiding from something? I... guys. Uh, hi, Jenny. How are you? I'm amazing, thanks for asking. I'm actually here to exchange a book. Funny thing, I started reading because I was trying to find something to talk about with you so we could get together, like, together, together. But then I really ended up liking it. Now I'm moving on to book two. Oh. Good for you. Wow, it feels so good to tell you that. Now that we're friends, I can finally be transparent with you. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, I've got to go. I need to know what happens next in this story. Bye! Orville? Yes? Uh, yeah, quick question. What was that? What? That awkward and to be real with you kind of sad attempt to talk to Ginny. I did talk to her. It was more than an attempt. Sure, but did you really say anything? Yes. No, I mean, okay. 
I know I'm not always the best at reading a room, but you were throwing out some pretty strong I want to be more than just friends signals back there. Fine, I do want to be more than friends with her, but I can't. She said she didn't want to pursue anything romantic, and I respect that. Those books you sent flying off the shelf say otherwise. That was you, right? Because if I have to sweep this place for poltergeists again... Actually, I'd be all about it. Ghost hunting is fun, but you get my point. Yes, it was me. Which is the other reason I can't tell Ginny how I feel. You mean your whole I can't have feelings or I'll break stuff thing? I don't know, I think you may be overreacting a bit with that one. Last time I got too emotionally involved with Ginny, I almost killed a man. Yeah, but he was trying to murder a bunch of people. Frank. Please, just let me help. I can talk to Ginny myself. See if she's lying about keeping it platonic as much as you are. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, eh? No, thank you. Okay, then how about I help you talk to her? For real this time. I can be your wingman. Not to brag, but Ginny and I have been keeping the Elliot and Liza ship afloat for a while now. Somehow that does not give me much confidence in your wingman abilities. But, look, I know that if you actually talked to her with some feeling, she'd be into it. I can at least help you dig into those emotions a little more. I said no. <sighs> Frank, please stay out of this. I'm going now. Enjoy your shopping trip. Oh, come on, Orville, I'm only trying to... Help. Ugh. I hate seeing those guys so unhappy. It wouldn't even be a problem if Orville bothered to show a little feeling every once in a while. Maybe I can help after all! Several hours later. Oh, um, all right, here it is. A chemical solution that, when ingested, can amplify emotional tendencies. May I ask again why you requested that I produce this? Ah, well, you know, I have this friend who really needs it. And why couldn't this friend come to me directly? You know that these sorts of substances require a thorough examination and evaluation of a patient's health in order to determine dosage, potential side effects, and the like. Uh, well, they were embarrassed and felt like it'd be better to keep their distance. You know, doctor-patient confidentiality and so on and so forth. That isn't how that works. Okay, if you really want to know, I'm the one who needs the feelings juice. I just, um... Thought it'd be weird to ask, considering our status as science buddies and all. Frank, you should never feel apprehensive about sharing personal information with me. You said just now that we're, um, science buddies, which I suppose implies a certain degree of compassion and understanding when it comes to sensitive matters. But, um, and I mean no judgment when I ask. Are you certain that a drug that heightens emotional responses is the right course of action for you? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you know me. Super stunted in the feelings department. Could probably communicate better if I felt stuff more. Um, right. Well, I'd like to approach this carefully, considering that this is an untested solution. We should start with the smallest possible dosage. But, uh... You can trust me, Elliot, buddy. I'm a science guy. I can handle looking after one file of solution. Frank, when I became a physician, I took an oath not to do harm to any patient. Which is exactly what you'll be doing if you don't trust me with your fancy feelings, drug. You don't want to hurt my feelings, do you? Please? Oh, all right. Woohoo! But before I give this solution to you... I need to tell you, and Frank, I need you to pay attention. Look at me straight in the eyes when I say this to you. Yep, on it. All right. Before I give this to you, uh -huh. it is imperative that you know, yep. and I cannot emphasize this enough, yep. that the human brain is a delicate thing. Delicate, yeah. And as such, must be treated with the utmost caution uh -uh -uh. and respect. Do you understand? Yep, something about caution. Got it. Thanks, buddy. Wait, no. It's not something about caution. It's all about caution. Frank! Oh, dear. I hope I haven't just made a tremendous mistake. And so Operation Convince Orville to take the feelings juice begins. Man, I've got to get better at naming these things. Okay, let's see. Half glass full of water. Check. One lemon? Check. 
Mysterious emotionally manipulative liquid? Big check. Now to add a tiny bit of the solution in the water. Whoops! That is the whole thing. That'll probably be fine. Let's do this! Hmm. Yeah, he's got a point. Who's got a point? What? You were thinking out loud. Unsurprising. For me, everybody thinks out loud. Still reading, huh? Maybe we should start a book club. We could get everybody else to join. Okay, maybe not everybody else, but I can think of at least a few people. No, thank you. But it'd be fun. We could get together and have some wine and those cute little hors d'oeuvres, and we could, you know, actually talk to each other. That last comment seemed very pointed. Because it was, Orville. I, I didn't want to say before with Frank around, but I feel like we never talk anymore. Every time I try to hang out with you, you're always skulking in some dark corner looking all serious. The whole thing's a little bleak, like, even for you. I thought that everything was good between us, but is there something you want to tell me? Still. Sorry, Ginny. I've got to go. Really? Again? Can you at least tell me why this time? Frank. Okay, that answer somehow makes a lot of sense. I'll see you later. I hope. Hello, Frank. Hey there, friend. Hope I didn't interrupt anything super important. You did, but that might have been best. What do you want? Well, you seemed pretty down after that conversation of ours earlier, so I thought I'd do something nice and give you this nice, refreshing lemon water. You laced it with something, didn't you? What? <laughs> Why would I? Can't a friend just give a friend some delicious lemon beverage without suspicion? You did. I just read your mind. Also, you're a bad liar. Okay, so I put something in the water that'd help you with your feelings problem, but I would have told you before you actually drank it. But fine, I'll just place the glass right here, just in case you want to- I told you to stay out of this. Then you should know I'm not a stay out of this kind of guy. Not when my friends are in trouble. I'm not in trouble. Neither is Ginny. Please stop interfering. But- That's your last warning. I'm going to bed. Good night. <coughs> Sorry, I don't usually talk this much. Uh, Orville? What? You, uh, you just drank the water with the feelings juice in it? Feelings. Juice. Oh. That is not good. Do you, uh, feel any different? No. Well, uh, plenty of chemical substances don't have instantaneous effects. Maybe we should just wait until about 30 minutes later. Still nothing. Guess that's that then. Well, we tried. More like you tried, but okay. Good night. Okay, see you tomorrow, and you're walking right past me. Cool, cool. Night then. <sighs> that's nice. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Wait. This is weird. Oh, good morning, Orville. Did everything go okay with Frank last night? Uh... I... Hey, are you okay? Orville? Yeah. Just... You ever have one of those mornings? So much, you have no idea. Maybe you should get some coffee. That's what you drink, right? Black coffee? Yeah. That's right. And you're right. Maybe I should get some coffee. I mean, um... You know what? Why don't you sit down? I can make the coffee. You just relax. Thank you. Aw, you're welcome, but you don't have to thank me. 
That's what friends are for, right? Ginny. Uh-huh? I don't want to be just friends. I know that you said we weren't going to work, and that's fine, but I need you to know that I like you. Maybe love you, but that may be coming on too strong. I don't know, but the point is... The point is... I would really like to kiss you now, passionately, if you're okay with that. I'm sorry, I, sh I shouldn't have... Oh my gosh, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for you to say something! Oh... Why do you think I've been trying to talk to you this whole time? But why'd you change your mind all of a sudden? Uh, I guess I just have a lot of feelings. Funny. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and whoa, what is happening here? Uh, only the best day of my life. Sorry. No, don't be. That was so romantic. The best day of your life, and we haven't even had breakfast yet. <gasps> we should have a picnic. We can bring some brunch, maybe some Bloody Marys, but the good kind. What do you think? Sounds perfect. Yay! I'm going to find a good blanket. Ooh, and a basket. And I'll find us a good spot. You stay right here. Be back soon! <laughs> <sighs> Wow. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Looks like a certain solution paid off after all, huh? Frank. <coughs> I think there might be a problem. That's probably just because it's been a while since he properly expressed something. I wouldn't worry about it. You're not... And now I make a celebratory breakfast smoothie. And you can get psyched up for your date, wink. <sighs> well, that went nowhere. I guess I'll just focus on the positive. Why does that feel wrong? Ah, okay, focus. Ginny's happy. You're happy. Yeah, you're happy. Nothing will ruin the situation. <laughs> Heads up, everybody! That is the last of the frozen waffles! You mean the new, unopened box I bought yesterday after you cleared out all of the breakfast food in the house? You do realize that there are people who live here besides you, right? Uh, I'd like to say for the record that this time I did leave the rest of the breakfast supply intact. As long as you didn't drink the last of the coffee, I don't care what you do. Dips on the good cereal? No fair! You can't call dibs. There's no logical basis for dibs. Oh! Uh, somebody remind me again why we thought it'd be okay to have kids living here. Why? So you can judge them for who they choose to spend their time with? Oh. You're still pissed about that, huh? No. Okay, maybe staying here was a bad idea. Because why would I possibly be pissed about you getting possessive of my... girlfriend? Oh god, am I already putting a label on it? What is wrong with me? Damn! I, I wish, wish you would stop, stop with the hostility and hear me out for once. Now, now she probably thinks I'm some, some kind of jealous asshole. Oh god. Why do we why care, what care what she thinks anyway? anyway? What's wrong with me? Oh no. <laughs> uh, and she's gonna get the last of the good cereal just because he's like two inches taller. Ugh. Is Miss Pryor going to make me give Rachel the cereal even if I get to it first? It's not my fault Rachel's mom is scarier than my brother. Come on, Frank, step up! Breakfast for me! Incoming! Ah, for the love of- Ay Dios, would everybody just calm down? Thank you. Well, this is disgusting. Hmm. Actually, it's not bad. I beg to differ. Oh, is there ham in this? <laughs> well, duh. It's called a breakfast smoothie. Ergo, you put breakfast in it. Well, now my breakfast is ruined. And possibly my appetite. Yeah, something tells me you're not, not the only one in that department. Orville, you've been not at all surprisingly quiet over there. You have anything to say about this? What? You're clean. Yeah. So? So... how? No idea. 
I'm going now. Hey, are you okay? You're acting kind of weird. I mean, even for you. I'm fine. It's just really loud in here. It was just a blender. Not what I meant. <sighs> well, what did you mean? Oh, God. What? This is the part where she loses it. Nothing. I meant nothing. But maybe you could all just... think quieter. What the hell was that, Pryor? I thought you were gonna tear him a new one. I don't know. It was like... something felt off. Like, no matter how much I wanted to say something, I couldn't. Been there. Just be glad you noticed it now and not 25 years too late. Ha ha, good one, Jack. You know, one of these days, those snarky comments are gonna make somebody think less of you. Not as long as you're around to prove my point. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I could use a shower. See you guys later. <laughs> right behind you! Mommy, does this mean breakfast is cancelled? Miha, why don't you and Benji focus on getting cleaned up first? Mr. Carlton can help you get whatever you need. Uh, no, Mr. Carlton would prefer not to do that. Well, Mommy has to look into something right now, and would be willing to reconsider her thoughts about certain rude comments Mr. Carlton's been making lately if he did this one thing for her. And Mr. Carlton just got the memo. Okay, uh, kids, let's go find some fresh towels, and I'm guessing a gallon of soap. <sighs> and now to find out what's up with Orville. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to think that feelings juice I gave him might have had some side effects. What feelings juice? <sighs> Everything's fine. I can control this. Actually, on second thought, I probably can't control this. Hello? Orville, I'm back, and I found the perfect spot for us to- Oh my gosh, what happened to the kitchen? Oh no. Oh, stop floating, stop floating, stop floating. Ow. Ceiling. I really don't need to put up with this. You're not the only one. Oh. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Orville. You're floating. Yes. And you can't get down. No. Nice. I'm going to have to explain myself, aren't I? No need. Dr. Mass Mistakes over here already filled me in. <laughs> hey, Orville. How's it hanging? I guess floating? I know how messed up things got the last time you got all emotional, and I can already tell that this is a lot worse. So here's the deal. Frank and I can get you back to the lab so we can figure this out, but you're going to have to at least try not to explode until then. Think you can handle that? Sure, as long as Ginny doesn't find out, I... don't want her to see me like this. You got it. I've got a grappling hook we can use to sneak you out of here. Got it. Good. Now just steer clear of any ceiling fans. That's very funny. You bet your ass it is. I suppose you're all wondering why you've been called here. We already know. Yeah, Pryor told us how you screwed up. Yeah, but, 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 but I think you mean how I helped out a dear friend with his relationship problems, right, Orville? Aw, oh, man, my beakers! Okay, that's enough. Everybody shut up and pay attention. The doc made this feelings juice for Frank. Does anybody know where he is? I don't hear any incredibly anxious or self-conflicted thoughts at the moment, so chances are he's out. And trust me, I can hear way too much right now. Maybe he's making a house call. Doctors don't make house calls anymore. Actually, knowing him, he probably would. Well, that's just great. Now how are we supposed to keep Orville from blowing this whole lab sky high? Algae... <sighs> Given the current situation, I think we should all stay calm. The doc would never brew up something like this without keeping some kind of record. Frank and I can search the lab for it, and Carlton can be our enforcer in case Orville's powers get too out of hand. Enforcer? <laughs> I like it. What about the rest of the team? Shouldn't we fill them in about this? Not Ginny, please. Ow. Again. Well, at least you're back on the ground now. As for Ginny, that's where you two come in. Miriam, I know you've got a thing for violence, but Ginny's a dear friend. And also a vampire, which I don't think puts the odds in mine and Jack's favor here. I'm not asking you to kill her. 
I just want you to distract her. Tell her whatever you need to keep her far away from here. You want us to lie. This is definitely the greatest assignment I've received here so far. <laughs> you can count on me. Bending the truth is my specialty. <laughs> no kidding. I guess I'll follow your lead then. Let's just hope that Ginny can take a hint. Orville! Where'd you go? I get it. If you're nervous, I kind of am too, but you don't have to keep hiding from me. Oh, hi, Algie. Hi, Jack. Have you guys seen Orville? I was hoping to talk to him. Watch and learn. Yeah, right. <clears throat> well, you see, Ginny... It's not me, is it? He seemed really enthusiastic before, which I totally should have realized meant something was wrong. Is everything okay? <gasps> is Orville hurt? Like, did he get a concussion or something? Um... Yes! Two hours later. Hi again, guys. How's Orville? Okay enough for me to see him? Well, while he is feeling better, I'm afraid he's out at the moment with Frank to try out an experimental concussion cure. What kind of cure? Psst, say it. I'm not going to say it. Say it. Hang gliding. Hang gliding? Wouldn't that be kind of counterproductive for a concussion? I guess we won't know until the experiment is over, will we? Four hours later. <sighs> Hi again, Algie. Hi, Jack. Well, hello there, Ginny. Funny we keep running into each other. How may we help you? Algie, you know why I'm here. I want to see Orville to make sure he's okay. Well, we'd let you see him, but... Sadly, he's taking a rest after a slight incident earlier today. What happened? Hang gliding accident. And she seriously bought that? Regrettably, yes. Damn, you're good. I know. Any progress on those records yet? Uh, no. Maybe if Frankenstein managed to clean this place every once in a while? What can I say? Science is messy! Uh, uh, <laughs> Not as messy as it'll be if we don't fix this soon. <laughs> See? Ugh, I don't get it. We check the piles of junk on the far side of the lab, and the piles of junk on the near side. Where the hell is there even left to look? Hold on. I think I've got it. And voila! Notebook! Funny, don't know why we didn't think to check the desk drawers first. Who cares? Just read it! Right! Come on, feeling solution, feeling solution, got it! Okay, okay, it says here, uh, solution will run its course in no more than... Uh, <laughs> hey, Orville, funny story. According to these notes, that solution should have worn off hours ago. Whatever effect it had before, you're causing it on your own now. See? <laughs> funny. Oh, no. Ah! That's not good. Yeah, I guess now's the time for some enforcing. I'll get him. Oh, sorry. Orville, you have to fix this. You're the only one left who can. I can't. I had feelings, and now I can't make it stop. Okay, I've had enough of sitting around and waiting, and I know you guys are hiding something from me, so you better tell me now where I can find... Oh my gosh, what's happening? Jimmy, uh, so about that hang gliding accident... Just forget it, Algie, she's obviously caught on. Ginny, whatever we said before, trust us now when we tell you to get out of here. Orville? Ginny? Ginny, okay, I get what this must look like, and boy, does it not look good, but if you just let me explain... Frank, stop! Frank! Frank, are you okay? Ginny, wait, I didn't mean... Please, make it stop! Look out! ¿Qué diablos fue eso? Is everybody okay? I've lost some feeling in my... Everything, but otherwise I'd say I'm good. Yeah, uh, what hit us? I mean, I get that Orville was going through something, but he couldn't have done that, right? Not to us. 
I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, open question here, but uh, Orville's powers never included sending people to other dimensions, right? Because, um, have you guys looked around? Where is Orville? Where's anybody? Hey fellow investigators, want to help support the show? Feel free to follow us on social media and check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash wildlypods for all kinds of fun bonus content. Heinous Investigations was created, written, and directed by Jessica Castro, featuring the voices of Dio Garner, David Manuele, Emily Folger, Elena Garcia, Tuan Nguyen, Bryce Riffle, AJ Somerville, Maria Elizabeth Burns, Naomi Park, Jamie Forney, Megan Lundquist, and Jessica Castro. Sound design, editing, and mixing by Owen Thornton. Heinous Investigation spooky theme song written and arranged by Jordan Castro, with instrumentals by Lucas Urbina. Promotional media by Tom Velik. Thanks for listening, and happy investigating!